Hi guys, Mr. Collins here. We're gonna uh, look at one of these Delta math problems involving uh, graphing a log function. Um, so you can see here, all they want is to put in an asymptote, which is pretty easy to find, and then just get two ordered pairs. Um, but it's not the easiest function in the world, negative two log base three of X plus four plus seven. So this is something you really should do on paper first, and I'm gonna, transition to notability here. So you can see the work that I think you should be doing on paper. Now, the first thing is, you know, on Delta Math, they ask you, there's a drop down menu for asymptote and basically the, the options are vertical and horizontal. This is a log function. Every log has a vertical asymptote. So you would, you would choose the vertical option. And when you do, and I'll show this in a minute, I'll toggle back to Delta Math. You get to move that vertical asymptote anywhere you want. Now in particular, um, actually I'm pointing at the four, but I really should be pointing at the X. The asymptote comes from whatever will zero out the X plus four. So it's, it's just gonna be the opposite of four. So it's gonna be vertical at X equals negative four. Whatever creates a log of zero is where your asymptote is. Um, now the ordered pairs are, uh, they're a little tough and there's a couple ways to do this. Um, I think the easiest way is focus on the log part. And you know, what I mean is like the, the hard part is picking a decent X value because you want to get a Y value that's a whole number. So we want to be smart about this. So think about what that log actually means. It actually means three to some power is going to be x plus four. So to pick my x value, I got to make sure that I get a power of three. So maybe somewhere on the side, I'm just going to list a couple powers of three. Of course, anything to the zero power is one. Three to the first is three. Three squared is nine. That ought to be enough. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, hey, wait a minute. Um, I can let this thing become one, right? So um, in other words, you know, when I, when I do that, you know, and I'm, I'm just going to, I know I'm kind of making a mess here, but um, log base three of X plus four. Like if, 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 let me think about this. I want, basically, I want this thing here to be a one. I'm doing a lousy job here, but if, you know, I got three to the uh, zero power equals X plus four. So of course three to the zero power is one. So that means X would be negative three. So I guess that's a long, that's the, the long way for me to say, I need, I need to choose negative three as my X value. Because if I do that, then this whole log would become zero and my Y value would become seven because I get negative two times zero plus seven. All right, let's try that again to get one more ordered pair. I know three to the first gives three. So what would X be so I get a three here? Well, X would have to be a negative one. So if Let's think about this. If X is negative one, hang on. If X is negative one, this log becomes log three. Uh, if you put a negative one in here, I'll get three. And so this becomes one. So then the Y coordinate would become negative two times one plus seven, which would be five. So here's my two ordered pairs, negative three, seven, be negative three comma seven and negative one comma five. All right, so what does that mean? Let's go back over Delta math and see how this is gonna work. So if I go to my Delta math, first of all, they asked me for the asymptote. I said, it's a vertical asymptote. And you can see you have this dashed line. I wanna bring that over to negative four. Right, so I bring that over here. And then I need two ordered pairs. We said negative, three, seven was one of them. Take any of those dots 
Let's move it over to negative three comma seven. That's right here. And then the other one we said was at negative one, five. So if I got a negative one, I can go up to five. That's there. Um, now the base is three, we would expect an increasing function, but the negative in front flips it upside down. So that's why it's a decreasing function. And I think that should be enough to get us uh, an answer here. So if I hit submit, it yes, uh, I got it correct. But again, the, the, the key trick here is, I'm not so sure I did a great job, is you need to pick X values in here that give you a decent Y value. So you got to make sure your argument here becomes a power of three, either one, three, or nine. So just so you know, another good value there would have been, you know, X equal five would have been a, a good value, just so you know, because that would have given me a nine in there. Um, okay, guys, I uh, hope that helped. I hope it makes sense to you. I'm going to stop my recording here.